Good day! Thank you for joining me for another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. I've got queued up here uh, Kaboom. Now there are a number of option settings. I believe that they are joystick with narrow uh, bats or paddles for the player. Paddle controller, which I do not have. Um, there might be a way to mock that up with the analog joysticks, but I'm not sure about that. Then fat paddle, uh, sorry, fat, fat paddle with wide, uh, wide bats, paddle controller, wide bats or wide paddles, and then joystick with wide paddles. So I'm going to do that, and then you've got some two-player options, two-player, I'm not sure what that means. Pitch and catch, that's probably the two, maybe a two player version of that, I'm not sure. In any case, here we go. Here's the game. I'm going to play with the uh, wide bats. The bombs make a bit of a musical uh, melody. Catch them in order anyway. Uh, paddle would actually be better for this game. Whoop, don't drop any, or you lose you lose one of your bats. And everything explodes, thus the name Kaboom. You can see why I chose the, oh my gosh, to play with the fat. The fat bat, the fat paddle. Oh, <laughs> I had forgotten how tough this game is. <laughs> I score. Select initials. Do I type? Whoops. Oh, it's a rotary thing. Whoop. Okay, well, I guess I'll be PPP. Conceived and designed by Larry Kaplan. <clears throat> Adapted by who? Paul Wilson. Copyright 1981 and 1983. 81 is probably the Atari 2600 version, and of course Activision. So, let me have another game or two of this. See if I can get a little better score. Graphics are basic, but not bad. It is quite reminiscent of the 2600, actually. Get a little further into the melody, I think, with each level. And I believe where he drops them is randomized, although that may not be true. I'd have to compare. Oh boy. <laughs> what, what a game. <clears throat> <laughs> Not hard. <laughs> Not hard at all. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I was close. Uh, bum. Oh, oh, what a failure. Wow, that was weak. <laughs> see if I can succeed at entering my initials here. Yeah, it would really be better to have a... <clears throat> Wouldn't be really, really be much better to have a controller for this. Or, uh, you know what I mean, a paddle controller, a rotary controller, or a paddle controller. Alright, well, there's not tons of depth here. I think with the two player options, pitch and catch might add a little bit more depth to it, but um, there's not lots. Kind of a fun little blast, although I wouldn't have wanted to, to spend very much money on a game with this relatively small amount of gameplay, especially when there's so many great games out there that you that have a lot of depth and strategy or skill to them, or both. Ooh. Close. Well, once you lose one paddle, it gets a lot harder. Whoop. Especially when you lose two paddles. Although, whoop. Whoop. <clears throat> okay, once you're at A, you can't go any. It doesn't wrap around. Oh, 
All right, maybe we'll have another go or two, and then that'll probably do it for this video. See if I can best my uh, 480. Do you get more points for picking them up on a lower paddle? No, I don't think so. Two points per bomb, three points now. So it's it, so the more levels, the further you get, the more your score is going to go up. Assuming you can survive for very long, your, your score is going to go up faster. <laughs> whoa, 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 there's so much going on. Hey, take that. Hoo-wee! You can, you can take a breather. It won't start, he won't start, uh, Mr. Burglar up there won't start flinging bombs at you until you hit the fire button. Looking at the burglar sprite, that's quite a few colors in there. Interesting. <laughs> oh, Lord! <laughs> All right. 700, take that. Take that, all you... <clears throat> I don't know what, kaboom experts. 734, that's probably about as good as I'm likely to do. Yeah, I don't think I have too much more to say about that. <clears throat> Interesting little game, kind of fun. Not tons of depth. There are some options there, which... Maybe we should have a game with the... <clears throat> maybe we should have one game with the narrow the narrow paddles, narrow bats. I don't know if this is going to be appreciably harder because <clears throat> as it gets faster you're basically just trying to mop them up with your stack of bats. And you're moving back and forth like the wind so I don't know that uh, this really is any harder. pattern the same? That might have been the same pattern. If that's the case, you could probably learn the waves. Oh, close. Definitely less bombs, so I think your progress through each wave is, is maintained. Um, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I think that's my second best score. <clears throat> I think your progress through each level, like when you lose a, when you drop a bomb, is maintained, and um, oh, uh, and then you get only however many bombs were remaining in that wave. Seven hundred thirty-four with the fat choice, the fat, fat, fat bats, and seven hundred fifty-two with the narrow. Interesting. So if you're going for bragging rights, obviously the narrow beats the the wide by a little bit anyway. Although, as I said, uh, a careful analysis shows there's probably not that much difference in the in the game, in the difficulty. Alright, well that's uh, not bad. Not bad. Let me uh, end this off by saying uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you got some enjoyment out of that. At least you get a look at a an Atari 800 conversion of a, I'm pretty sure, an Atari 2600 game. And um, get a sense for what it was like, and you can help you decide if you're interested in playing it or not. So, I, uh, I wish you a great day, take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.